Hey guys, Doug here from Motion. I'm here to introduce an exciting new product, not one that we made, but one that our friends at TBM Brakes made. They started a company called Rife Sensors, and this product is something I'm super excited about. It is a four port sensor, uh, remote mount system, I guess you would call it. And it's unlike anything I've seen. It's really cool because it has these pods. Now, believe it or not, there's actually sensors built into, these po into this whole thing. It's not just a remote mount sensor block. And what's cool is it's very easy to configure. Um, you can use anything from a uh, one and a half bar all the way up to a seven bar map sensor and anything from a 100 PSI transducer all the way up to a 1600 PSI transducer. Now, why is this important? Well, the biggest thing is that a lot of uh, guys who are doing professional wiring and uh, engine management systems prefer that sensors don't be mounted on an engine for aftermarket sensors that aren't durable enough to withstand the vibrations of a race car high performance uh, engine. It is nice to have them remote mounted. You can uh, basically separate them out from the system, isolate them with rubber and keep the vibrations from prematurely killing sensors. This thing is also really cool because all the wiring runs into one simple location. So from a wiring standpoint, you don't have four different plugs coming in. They have this optional uh, pre-terminated pigtail and uh, that basically gives you the ability to run everything into one shot. Now, a lot of you guys will have that, so we made that an option to buy, so you're not paying for something you don't need. Their wiring is really nice that comes with this, and it's actually long enough to get to a main branch that you would probably connect it to anyways. So, uh, very nice option, and like I said, it really simplifies all the different wiring bundles coming over there. It is a six-pin connector, so you're going to have your four sensor signals, and then you're gonna have a shared ground and a shared five volt. So if you're running a Holly system or a fuel tech or something where there, there's not a bunch of extra five volt sensor locations, you can just pull one and go to it so you don't have to keep splitting signals a bunch of different ways. Uh, that can always be a, kind of a real big pain. Another cool thing is they're available in eighth inch NPT or three AN. So eighth inch NPT female, which is what these are, these are just plugs in it. Um, gives you the ability to go to push to connect. Uh, you can go to 3AN, 4AN, or whatever you want. Um, and obviously there's a variety of different options. So these are compatible with fuel, oil, water, uh, air pressure. So if you want to do like CO2 or manifold pressure, and then of course the map sensor is good for whatever you want it. Another cool option um, is that people ask, well, what if I start with 100 PSI and end up needing a 200 PSI? Or what if I start with a three bar and end up with a seven bar or something? They are very modular and configurable, which is one of my favorite things about it. So I'll go ahead and take this bottom cover off. I've taken most of these out ahead of time, so I'm not sitting here fumbling with it. So after you take these eight bolts out on the back of the cover, uh, it comes off, you'll see that it has a seal. So everything is sealed in this, which makes it really nice for any type of application from marine all the way up to automotive, sand rails, everything in between. But you'll look and see that there are actual little pods. These things are really nice. If you look on the inside, there's an O-ring that seals them. That seals them from vibration. And then the sensor itself is actually silicone potted into this metal pod. So everything is very redundantly isolated from vibration, which makes uh, for a long life sensor and gives you the ability to run it in really extreme conditions. You'll see that the top is keyed with flats so that when you go to turn your eighth inch or 3AN to tighten things, um, they're ready to just be tightened. And the modularity of this is awesome because as your car and your project grows and you all of a sudden need a 200 PSI or you need a five bar or a seven bar, it's as simple as taking that back cover off, sliding this out. And then if you look in here, there's just little two pin connectors that are attached to the board. Pop those off, pop a new one on, put it back together and you don't have to rewire things. Because if, if you're real familiar with the growth of a project, as you go from a uh, standard map sensor to a three bar or five bar, a lot of times the connector changes every time that you change that. So then you're looking for the wiring, you're trying to figure it out, not on this, you know, you, your sensor signal is gonna stay the same, your ground, your power, all you're gonna do in your e, ECU is go back and reconfigure to the new data calibration and you're good to go. So it's really easy to grow with this system. You don't have to rebuy things, you don't have to remount things buying adapters, all that stuff. It's just that simple. You just simply change out that pod and you move along with your day. So finally, these are configurable in a ton of different ways. For what we're gonna keep on the shelf, 
we have a boost ready model, we call it. It's a motion uh, version and it has three 100 PSI pressure transducers. That way you can run CO2, oil uh, pressure and fuel pressure or anything else you would like to check on that. And then a four bar. We decided to go with a four bar map sensor because three bars are often maxed out. Uh, three bar maxed out at 29 PSI. So we wanted to give room so people could grow. Of course, you can change these out. You can order a non-standard one from us. There'll just be a little bit of a lead time for them to put it together and send. But for our typical customer, whether they run boost or not, um, this option will be a great option. We can, of course, move this over to a one bar map sensor as well. Now these come in two, three, and four port style configurations. Again, if you have questions, concerns, or you would like to do custom ordering on this, give us a call, shoot us an email. I'll put all that information below. And one of the coolest parts about this entire setup, not only does it give you all those features and functions, it's actually less expensive than buying all the sensors individually. It's $399.99 for this block, and that includes all four sensors. Most sensors are $120 to $150 a piece. So it's really a no-brainer. Until next time, guys, we will see you later. We love this product, and I think you will too.